Hi Leo, it's Roxy. I'm here to do a love reading for 2020 for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not every video can resonate with every Leo out there. So just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? I'm using Nicoletta Ciccoli tarot cards. I'm a Leo Rising. My mom is a Leo Sun. So, I have an affinity for Leos. <laughs> okay, Lion Gang, let's see what we get for love for you for 2020. And at the end, I'm going to pull an oracle card for guidance for 2020 for you. Okay. Come on, another card for Leo. Hmm, the cards want to talk. Interesting. I hope you're well, Leo. I hope 2020 is prosperous and abundant for you and you get everything you desire and want. One can hope, right? <laughs> Interesting cards already. Interesting. Leo, if you're so inclined, I want a personal reading with me. All my information will be down in the description box. Thank you for watching these videos. I appreciate it. Okay, Leo. I'm going to go card by card and tell you what I get, okay? So, the first card is a Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is an art sign. Either you have this in your chart or you're dealing with one. Okay, and the Seven of Pentacles in love is that you want your relationship with this person to work out. You put in all your energy and time and love into them, or they'll do that to you, right? And that will make the relationship work, okay? Seven of Pentacles is working together, okay? Okay, whoops, Butterfinger, sorry about that. Eight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You could be dealing with an air sign, or you have it in your chart. This is, you're up in your head, right? You're conflicted. Too much thinking about a certain person, right? Or they're doing this to you. They're thinking about you a lot. And it might not be good thoughts. <laughs> it might be, uh, why the hell are they behaving this way? You could be saying this, or the other person could be saying that, right? And this is also like insomnia, sleepless nights, you know what I mean? It's just like, you're, you're thinking way too much. Or they are. They're thinking very too much, you know? They're, they're like the scaredy cat. <laughs> Okay, Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign. Or in the whole of this year, you're probably being loving, very sweet, very nurturing, very kind. Or the person you're dealing with is taking on that energy. All right, this is like a new love. This is like puppy love, right? When you and the person just start dating. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Cap again. You could be dealing all again with an earth sign. This is another working together card, right? You could have met your sweetheart or partner at work, actually, right? Or you're trying to engage your partner or you want to marry them, right? Because in the traditional Rider weight deck, this is a somebody um, standing up at the in front of a priest with their partner, like getting married also. So it could be any of those things. You know, this is a general, so it could be any of those things. <laughs> the Five of Swords. So, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with an air sign. Or, you're very peeled at an air sign. Uh, you, this is this is not good. She wants to cut the carrot's head off. Either you or the person you're dealing with is very combative right now. You might want to argue with this person, your your partner, or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Or they want to argue with you. Or you got, you got them upset or they got you upset, okay? That's hilarious, truly. Okay, this is the star card. This is the star. This is a major arcana sign of uh, Aquarius. I can't even talk tonight. Excuse me. The sign of Aquarius. There you go. I got it out. This is something that you're hoping a relationship comes to fruition, right? Or they are. They're hoping that the relationship, you know, keeps moving on, keeps getting better, keeps growing. Okay. Or you're thinking this. Either it could be either or. But it's definitely wanting a relationship to, you know, sprout and br branch into something great, basically, okay? Or you could think about the person as the star, too. You could think they're, like, terrific. You know what I'm saying? All right. Chariot. 
so I have cancer, major arcana. Okay, this is you wanting to either move away from somebody, you could be dealing with a cancer, or you or they want to move away from you, or you want to move forward together in the relationship. You want the relationship to grow, just like the last card, all right? It could be any of those things, all right? Take it as it resonates. Okay, Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with someone from your past, someone from your past life. This could be a twin flame or soulmate also. But you're happy to see this person. This is not a this is not a bad card. This is a reunion, reconciliation with somebody that you actually like. <laughs> That's a good thing, right, Leo? Instead of somebody coming back you don't like. Yikes. Okay. Seven of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or you could be just taking on this energy that you're defending yourself against somebody, right? It could be a relationship partner. Or they they feel like they have to be defensive around you sometimes, Leo, right? My mom's a Leo's son, and when she gets defensive, God help you. <laughs> but it's being defensive, right? It's like, uh, stop your foolishness. We're not going to argue today. Not today, Satan. Okay, so you have the, the Knight of Swords, okay? The Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The quickest moving knight in the deck. You want to rush into somebody, or they want to rush into you. It could be their side, it doesn't have to be. But this person wants to either rush into you to tell you how they love you, or you want to do the same thing to somebody else. Okay? All right, Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. You could be dealing with an earth sign, you have it in your chart. But this, this is either you're taking on this stable, loving, um, ambitious, caring person, right? Somebody who will be there thick and, through thick and thin, or the person you're dealing with is the taking on this energy, right? That, I mean, most Leos, go, they go after what they want. Fire signs go after what they want, big time. And you, this is what you want. You want loyalty, stability, family life, you know, abundance. That's, and you want it with a certain person, okay? Okay, we have the king of pentacles. <laughs> I want to say king of swords. King of pentacles, right? Taurus, Virgo, Cap, energy, right? This is the person who has a lot of, could have money or you could be coming to money, but that you can provide stability for the partner or the partner can provide stability for you. It's more stability more than anything else, right? This person is totally under control, totally loyal, totally stable, right? So either you're taking on this energy, Leo, or the person you're dealing with is, okay? The last card, bottom of the deck, is the major arcana, the judgment. You have to make a decision or the universe might make it for you. There's a decision call here. There's a judgment call, right? The other person you're dealing with is saying, hey, giving you, they could be giving you an ultimatum too. And saying, hey, you're going to engage me? Hey, you're going to marry me? It could be that also. Or you could be telling the person that also. Hey, you're going to marry me? <laughs> Where's my ring, bitch? Yeah, like that. <laughs> so that's where that is. Leo, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you have a great 2020. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm sending you love, peace, kisses. I have you. hope you have a great year. And um, I'll bless you. See you again soon. Bye, Leo.